All right, so we're finally reaching the ending of Assassin's Creed Unity. I will say it's a bit bittersweet, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's just get right into it. The Temple. It all comes to this. Germain is hiding somewhere in the temple. Find him and kill him. Rewards Arno's Master Assassin outfit. We should split up. I'm not sure that's... Less chance we both get caught that way. I suppose that's true. We'll rendezvous inside. If you get a shot at Germa, you take it. Germain's built himself quite a fortress. I can't see any weak spots. That was a really nice shot right there. Alright, explore the area, create opportunities. Entrance is 9, hiding spots 14, guard 62, alarm bells 2. Alright, what do we have here? Double assassinations, air assassinations. Find Germain, and I think it said, uh... Disable, yeah, disable or dis sabotage the two alarm bells. So that should be interesting. Alright, so there's a guard on the roof. There's a guard patrolling the area right there, and there's a guard right there as well. Two guards, actually. Oh, there's another guard right there. Alright, I was gonna say, I could possibly uh, climb the, climb the, the wall, the outer wall right there. Where I saw the second guard, but uh, I don't know. Or you know what? I, I might still be able to do that. I just don't want to get caught by the guy that's like on top. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I think there's like three guys up there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. He's, he's his dead ally, and he's like, oh, okay, I'll just go back to my duty. Yeah, you know what? It wouldn't be wise to actually go on this direction. That was honestly freaking close.
Well, that didn't work as an air assassination. So the first alarm bell is right there. I could possibly get it. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm going to try to get it. I guess not. Yeah, that's that's a lot of guards right there, not gonna lie. Yeah, Arnold was right. There's like no actual weak spots in this area. Uh, what was that? Can't shake me, dog! Get in back of him! Help somebody can't see! Oh, Jesus! you? Kill her out there somewhere. Stick <laughs> So it wasn't as stealthy as I wanted it to be, but, you know, it got the job done. Ooh. Yeah, I was going to say, it would take so much for me to do the alarm bell sabotage and, you know, basically everything else. Oh, that was crazy. All right, so he infected one of them. The good thing is that even though he infected one of them, like, um, you know, they still fight each other. So you're telling me that, you know... They were fighting over here, shooting their guns and shit, but I just run by and immediately get spotted. Like, See if there's anything valuable over here. Yeah, there's only one person here. Okay. Oh, did he actually see me? I could possibly keep going upwards, but uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna take him out. I'm gonna take him out. You're no patriot. 
Honestly, I had the same reaction. <laughs> so the prodigal assassin returns. I suspected as much when Latouche stopped sending his tax revenues. No, please. Ooh, Ooh, that hurts. Holy crap. Side. I assume Hobbesker was your doing as well. Is there an opening in the rooftop? No matter. His reign of terror served its purpose. The darkness cannot protect you. The metal has been fired and shaped. How? What? Honestly, could that be really surprising, though? I mean... Arno basically has a entire eagle vision, x-ray vision, in a sense, you know? I don't think that would be too weird. I wonder if I could actually make that jump. Hold on. I know that if I jump from here, I'm just gonna die. All right, so uh, how am I gonna do this? I actually gotta be careful. I got four uh, medicines left. All right, so that's where the second alarm bell is located. You know, it's actually kind of hard to, like, get those air assassinations. Because I've only seen one opportunity to actually get the air assassinations. I gotta be very careful over here. Yeah, I'm going to have to use another uh, one of these bad boys. And I missed. Okay. If I could just get that shot on this guy, it should be all right. Oh my god, that's a lot of cards. I dare his ass to come over here. Oh, Jesus. Germain's got some kind of <laughs> weapon. I've never seen its like before. He got away from me. He didn't come past me. He must still be down there. Elise scared the fuck out of me.
That big ass forehead, man. I just saw that shit pulling up. Please. Mademoiselle de la Serre as well. This is quite the reunion. Stay hidden. Keep him talking. Did you think this day would never come? That because Francois de la Serre had no sons to avenge him, that your crime would go unanswered? Revenge, is it? Your vision is as narrow as your father's. You want to talk? How wide a vision was your grab for power? Power? No, 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 no. You're smarter than that. Was that was a straight-up headshot right there. It was never about power. It's always been about control. Did your father teach you nothing? The order has grown complacent. Do you think yourself safe? Your shadows. I have you now for centuries. For centuries, we focus our attention to the trappings of power, the titles of nobility, the offices of church and state, causing the very lives. That was kind of brutal, not gonna lie. The way Arnold did that. Crafted to shepherd the masses. And you think that will accomplish anything? In the wake of revolution, the order will adapt. Skulk all you like. It makes no difference. Oh, that's not good. I didn't know he could do that. They will retreat to the shadows, and we will. Last be the secret masters we were meant to be. So come, kill me if you can. You cannot hide from me, boy. You really took that shit like a tramp. We'll have to take him together. Take him together. Yeah, this is definitely rough. Oh, yeah. I will find you. I grow tired of waiting. The darkness cannot protect you. I can take him. No, you can't. Not alone. Wait for me. I'm sorry. Elise!
Bravo. You've slain the villain. That is how you cast this little morality play in your mind, isn't it? Oh, I'm not really here. I'm not really there either. At the moment, I'm bleeding out in the floor of the temple. But it seems the Father of Understanding has seen fit to give us this time to talk. Ah. A particular favorite of mine. I did not understand the visions that haunted my mind, you see. Those great towers of gold, cities, shining white as silver. I thought I was going mad. Then I found this place. Dr. Molay's vault. Through his writings, I understood. Understood what? Somehow, through the centuries, I was connected to Grand Master de Molay. And that I'd been chosen to purge the order of decadence and corruption that had set in like rot. And to wash the world clean. And restore to the truth the Father of Understanding intended. That seems to have gone over well. Prophets are seldom appreciated in their own time. Exiled in the basement forced me to reevaluate my strategy. Find new avenues for the realization of my purpose. No matter the cost. A new order never comes without destruction of the old. And if men are made to fear untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. It appears we part ways here. Think on this. The march of progress is slow, but it is inevitable as a glacier. All you've accomplished is to delay the inevitable. One death cannot stop the tide. Perhaps it'll not be my hand that shepherds mankind back to its proper place. But it will be someone's. Think on this when you remember her. Damn, that was uh that was a really good sequence, you know, with the whole music and everything. That was really nice. I really like that uh sequence where like Arno gets up and it's in slow motion and we just see him running towards Elise. It, it was it was a really nice sequence. I really like that. It was really nice. Yeah, and it's pretty nice that, you know, I'm going back to these games and being able to play them now when I'm older and you know, being able to understand it now. Uh, these aren't bad games, and when I'm talking about these, I'm talking about, like, Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed Unity. I used to have, like, this gripe with them. I, I just didn't like them when I was younger. But, uh, yeah, I'm appreciative now of these type of games, and uh, yeah, it was pretty nice. I, I like this story. It was it was decent. You know, there's, there's a couple things that I personally didn't like, you know, that I will go into detail later on. But, you know, it, it's not bad. It's not as bad as I remembered it, basically.
The creed of the Assassin Brotherhood teaches us that nothing is forbidden to us. Once, I thought that meant we were free to do as we would. To pursue our ideals no matter the cost. I understand now. Not a grant of permission, the creed is a warning. Ideals too easily give way to dogma. Dogma becomes fanaticism. No higher power sits in judgment of us. No supreme being watches to punish us for our sins. In the end, only we ourselves can guard against our obsessions. Only we can decide whether the road we walk carries too high a toll. We believe ourselves redeemers, avengers, saviors. We make war on those who oppose us, and they in turn make war on us. We dream of leaving our stamp upon the world. Even as we give our lives in a conflict that will be recorded in no history book. All that we do, all that we are, begins and ends with ourselves. Man, I gotta say, this game is special. This game is freaking special. Um, yeah. My God, I don't believe what I'm seeing. I won this fight two centuries before it started. Well done, kid. Uh, I don't think Abstergo will bother searching the catacombs for Jermaine's body. The bones are gonna be too damaged, too decayed. We're in the clear with this stage. You did good work, Initiate. Until we contact you again, the best you can do is continue searching Arnold's memories for anything else he might have seen, like rare historical data, more DNA samples, anything to help our cause. We'll be in touch when we need you. Count on it. Yeah, like I said, this game is just special in a way that I really can't describe. Um, like I was talking about earlier, I did have a lot of problems with this game. And I still do, but at the core of it, it's just a really good game. I personally do enjoy it. Uh, there's things that could have been done differently, but you know, the setting, the soundtrack, everything about this game is just really nice. And uh, for some reason, every couple of years, I just get an inkling of wanting to replay this game. And you know, I, I don't understand why, but you know, there's times where it's like, damn, I really want to go back to Assassin's Creed Unity. And like I said, it's because this game is special. There's something in this game. There's something really, really, there's something that pulls you in, you know? And uh, yeah, man, I, I really enjoyed this game. It, like I said, it's bittersweet that we completed the main story, but it's not over. We still got a lot of side missions to do. Murder mysteries, co-op missions, heist missions, uh, etc. right? And we also have to do the Dead Kings DLC. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna be in the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This was really fun, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.